Good morning. Morning. We'll just wait a minute. I didn't actually um, put up a post yesterday saying that we would be live today. We're live every day, but just not on. Just things. not on here. Yeah. Just not on here. So yeah. we'll hang fine a minute. Um, um, let me see. Cool. Morning, Abby. Over on Insta. Morning, morning, morning. That's right. Cool. So, hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes. It? I entitled yeah. it on Facebook. I haven't put it on Instagram. Happy New Year, question mark. Ah. Yeah. So. Um, Greetings into the new year. <laughs> Greetings into the new year. And, um, you know, it's no surprise really that we're, it hasn't magically changed overnight like I don't know I think um, there was a lot of expectation on 2021 being some kind of saviour mm -hmm. but new year new year new fresh things. start um new year same you yes <laughs> new year same you um so same I, challenges but with a bit more experience of dealing with the challenges that we're facing over the next month Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So for those of you who are in Scotland, obviously we're facing another full lockdown. Um, and we're quite conscious, obviously, that that will have affected um, many people. Now, for us, we feel like we've already been there. We've done that. Our daughter's super excited about being homeschooled again. Yes. <laughs> so she's absolutely fine. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Um, but, you know, equally, um, you know, your business you can do online yeah, yeah, currently. Yeah. Um, my business I can have pivoted and I'm doing a lot online. I'm still doing about a third of what I was doing pre-corona. Well, after, yes, is analysis. Yeah, mm -hmm. pre-corona. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so we just want to check in, see how you are, see what support we can offer. Um, my first thing that's coming through really strong for me today is about not buying into the fear. Okay, so I woke up and yesterday actually was a good example. Yesterday was my first day back at work um, and I could have quite easily dropped into that, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. I've got so much to catch up on, da, 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 da. But I consciously took a step back and I probably spent a good hour and a half preparing for my day ahead. So getting myself into the right mindset, writing out, okay, what do you actually want to achieve? What needs doing? All those kind of things, because it's too easy to get sucked in. And then I think today's a really great example of that as well, because um, I received some messages yesterday, post lockdown uh, news, um, some messages today from people who are feeling very fearful, very worried, um, very anxious and all this is like totally understandable emotions to feel um, but I could feel myself beginning to absorb their fear, their worries, their negativity. Now I am not saying don't feel worried, anxious, upset okay. but what I am saying is be very very conscious about what you are absorbing. So this morning, again, um, I have taken some time. I've done my yoga practice. I am in the process of doing two little mini courses. I spent some time in there to um, prepare myself in a way that for me, I know that when things like this happen, I need to take a step back to look after myself so that I can then support others. Um, because my job, obviously, I work with people with anxiety and stress and overwhelm. So I need to consciously look after myself so that I can be in that best position of support. Um, what have you got to say on what's happening in the world? I think that what we need to be consciously aware of uh, or remind ourselves is being aware of um, what Susie's saying there about things that are happening and the impact and absorbing other people's energies and, and emotions and all that is that try and decipher and remind ourselves what we can control and what we can't control. Mm -hmm. So we can't control the lockdown. Uh, we can't control, um, you know, the changes that are happening externally. We can't control the virus, although uh, we can try and have some sort of form of influence. So... If we actually focus and work on yes. what we can control, what we can do, then that will give us 
uh, a sense of control. And I think that's what part of the issue, uh, I think, is the lack of control of everything that's going on. Well, I can't control this, so I'm not controlling that. Uh, it's controlling me, it's controlling me. Um, so if we d- figure out what it is that we can control ourselves personally, it, it will give us a, a greater sense of control, it'll give us a greater sense of purpose, mm-hmm. a greater sense of confidence uh, or optimism, if you like. Yeah. Um, and it'll certainly give us the the sense that uh, we're, you know we're not focusing our energy because remember focus goes energy flows all that sort of stuff remember that if you can focus on things you can control and go and control them or set up your plan as Susie was saying mm. then you will feel more accomplished you'll feel more in control you'll feel more you're not being sucked and dragged into um, you know the current circumstances that are going on around about us and uh, you know in, in the world and the like mm. so it's definitely a sense of um, you know, rather than allowing things to happen, let's make things happen. Uh, yeah. And you can only do that and when I you know think, what you can control. Yeah, like, so some people get really pissed off with this, like, so for me, I know, like, I've done a load of courses and stuff during this time, and a lot of people get pissed off by that. They're like, oh, all these people, they're like, you know, stay positive, like, utilize your time. Like, it doesn't have to be no. a purpose, like, no. doing a course. No. Like, you were saying earlier today, it could be, yeah. like, just, like, have, you do need to have a purpose so that you don't feel stuck. So that, But that purpose could be to sort out your ironing pile mm-hmm. or to match up your oh, own socks. That reminds me. <laughs> or that purpose could be like you were saying earlier like finish a crossword do a puzzle like yeah, it doesn't yeah, have yeah. to be like a huge life-changing purpose to your day but you do need to have some form of purpose because otherwise that's when you fall into states of depression or anxiety or ill health because you sit rum, rum, what's the word ruminating mm-hmm. <laughs> ruminating over all the the things that could happen, all the things that are going on and all the, you know, you need to kind of somehow disconnect from the things that you don't have control over. Um, see, the, the, we need a certain amount of stimulation in order to get us excited, going, motivated, encouraged. Equally, it's great just to lie on your couch and do nothing if you want, mm-hmm. as long as you're okay with that. And yeah. you don't feel that this is what you, you it's the only thing you can do. I mean, I think I could comfortably lie on the couch for two hours and not feel unhappy about it. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> um, but, you know, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, as you say, it doesn't have to be, you know, life-changing stuff that you're doing. Just be purposeful about it. Mm, um, and know that, And know that, you know, this is what you've decided to do. Um, you know, it, 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 it is uncomfortable sometimes when we have sensory deprivation. Um, but we can go and create a, a, a elements of sensory um, morning uh, injections. Market, and that could burgit. be getting out and just smelling the fresh air on your doorstep. Uh, it could be if somebody's walking past a dog across the street going out and saying hello. Or, you know, um, you know if there's any neighbours in your area that are elderly or, uh, on, or on their own, whether you could peek through a window or... Just something like that. Like I was thinking today about writing letters to people. Uh, I think that's such a lovely brilliant. thing. Like if you had time and you can't connect with people, why not write a letter? Like that would be such a nice surprise to mm-hmm. get in your, mm-hmm. like in your letter box. You know, to use that time in that way. Like because we feel like we're lacking connection just mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. and I think that that's a lovely thing to do. What I would say is I am not in any count, and neither of us are dismissing. Like if you are seriously, um struggling okay so say you are seriously struggling with you know i know suicide rates for example have increased just now you know alcoholism all these things do seek professional support okay like don't think that you are alone just because Mm. you can't go to your gp surgery you know call samaritans Mm. reach out to a friend or family member you know if you have someone in your family who maybe, uh, you know, is struggling with alcoholism, you can reach out to the likes of Al-Anon, who are supporters for people, you know, who have, have been through things like that. Or, you know, message your, co- you know, contact the doctor if you feel that that's what yeah, you need. Definitely, definitely. Reach out to, you know, get the support. Don't feel that you're stuck going round and round and round in your head. And even to a smaller scale, um, I was speaking to someone yesterday about it, you know, just having an open discussion about your worries 
I'm not saying mm-hmm. go over and over and over and yeah. over, but to air them so that you can process them mm-hmm. so that you can then do something about it. Yeah. Well, you're, like, a, you're a, a great uh, proponent of writing things down, mm. seeing them, and then putting them into some kind of yeah. context. My journal has like. literally been my best friend, like... Uh-huh. Through this period yeah. and, um, you know, even, the, yeah, like yesterday, like when I began to feel overwhelmed about all the, th- like, I f- I'm always full of ideas and things and support I want to give and I know that I can't do everything that I want to do. So journaling was a great way for me to process that and work out, okay, right, okay, who can you support, you know, without, without hurting yourself. And this was another thing that I discovered yesterday, um, which is kind of deviating from, well, we're not, don't really have a subject. <laughs> but um you know yesterday I spent some time reviewing last year and going through my diary from last year and um I ended up in hospital this time last year mm-hmm. yep. um and uh at the time we're like oh my gosh like why is this happening what's wrong like you're so healthy and and then I was looking at my diary and I was like bloody hell like it's yeah. not really surprising that you yeah, just yeah. ended up in <laughs> hospital, um, because I was like doing so much, like crazy amounts of work, um, and you know I was doing all the other stuff as well. I was eating healthy and I was doing all the spiritual stuff and I was doing the meditation, but there was no way I could have maintained mm-hmm. or sustained what what mm-hmm. I was doing then. So, you know, this has been a great point of reflection for me. And, you know, it's another pause that's thrown our way, um, you know, to do that. Margaret is saying, love the idea to write a letter. And talking is always a great therapy. It's been a lifesaver for her on many occasions. Absolutely. Um, Ainsley's saying, burn the worries, burn the stuff, put it out to the universe. Um, I'll tell you on the... On the- Letter writing, if if you will, we're talking about unloading, writing down, and all that, and you know, getting it out of you. Um, you may or may not know, but during the Confederate War of America, Abe Lincoln uh, was so disillusioned with some of his generals that he was fuming with them. Uh, so what he would do is actually put pen to paper and he'd write them letters about how, you know, terrible they were leading the men, the poor decisions they were making, and how fuming he was, and all that kind of stuff. And you'd get this out of him. But he actually never sent the letters yeah. to the generals. So it's incredible, is it, that you can actually write out how you're feeling and get all this pent-up stress and tension out of you, but yet it doesn't go to anybody else. But you can actually mm-hmm. feel better, better about it. Um, so maybe a blinking can do it. Yeah, no, that's so true, and that's mm-hmm. a powerful technique mm-hmm. that. Um, and then maybe even you can burn your letter after that if you want to. Yeah. yeah, fire. And <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Marjorie's saying it's always good to talk. Yeah. Absolutely, I know yeah. from um, when I had my breakdown that you know speaking, talking, feeling heard was so important. And, um, you know, Stuart, I know, like, I don't know how much you want to say, but like, you know, your mental health previously, you know, you experienced a period of yeah, it was a challenge. depression and, you know, and breakdown you can't get, as well. Yeah, you can't get to 57 without uh, kind of experiencing different emotions and challenges and, you know, how you deal with them, how you face them. We're all different at the end of the day, but there are similarities in terms of how you can approach them mm-hmm. uh, and so forth and the support you can seek for them. Um, because the thing, the thing is it's fine talking, but sometimes if we feel that there's nobody listening, then we then can sometimes go back in and sort of say, well, nobody's, nobody's listening to what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but people actually are. Um, but just sometimes people are not too sure how to or what to say or how to respond. And I think sometimes just like the letters is that it's good to get it out whether it actually goes anywhere necessarily, it can be, um, you know, can be a good thing, because um, it's it's like pressure cookers, isn't it? It's just steam building up, and it gets to the point where it can go nowhere else apart from boom, mm-hmm. and that's, uh, you know, a lot of people experience that kind of build up, mm-hmm. but uh, little by little, I think somebody was saying there. Um, if you can get little bits of gas out as as you're going along, yeah. Um, then it um it prevents uh, 
a potential boom, if you like. Mm -hmm. Margaret's saying, I'm loving this. It's so important. You so deserve to be heard. And I think for guys, like this is like a big, mm -hmm. well, for all of us, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. But for mm -hmm. guys, mm -hmm. you know, like it's not seen at, you know, you're supposed to have it's it not, all together. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to be the support or you're supposed to Not be... manly, it's not cool, it's not... Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I think the highest, highest rates of suicide are in men. In men. Men and young boys. Mm -hmm. Young adults. Yeah, which yeah. is really, really alarming. So that's, you know, we're mm -hmm. not dismissing anyone's fears, worries, bit. concerns in any way, shape or form. Um, but, as you said, you know, do you create a purpose mm -hmm. to your day, whatever mm -hmm. that may be? Yeah. Um, and, you know, really nourish yourself. You know, for me, I know that I, for like, and this is something actually I think I might write a blog about, like, you're quite extroverted. Like, you like being around people, speaking to people, like, that's what fuels you. Mm -hmm. But for me although you might not think it, like I'm quite introverted. So for me, I like to spend time mm -hmm. on my own. So that's how I refuel. I need to take time away. Yep. So I'll switch off from social media. I'll hide out. I'll meditate like a lot. <laughs> Just be in that zone, yeah. be in that space, take baths, take walks, whatever. So that's kind of how I refuel. So it's working out what's right for you. So if you need that, you know, being around people connection, then reach out to people, find some positive groups, people with similar interests um, as you, you know, so mm -hmm. um, not to go and commiserate and whatever, but to find more inspiring things, things you can get excited about together. Mm -hmm. Like, so for you, that's golf. And I know you're in a lot yeah. of golf groups and forums and history and like yeah. those kind of yeah. things. One of the things that works for me anyway, uh, not necessarily everybody, but um, I've just grabbed a fascination uh, over this last sort of six months about the uh, First World War. Um, you know, about the conditions that they were in, that the, um, you know, the excitement and energy that they you know, left the country with to face the Germans in France and all that kind of stuff, and the trenches and all that sort of stuff. And what I've found over the years is, I mean, you know, what they had to deal with and what they had to go through and, and, and live through is, you know, just un... It, it is, you just can't believe it. Um, and I mean, I've read... I'm on my fourth diaries uh, of soldiers who have gone through the war and all that kind of stuff, and they explain about the conditions. And I think to myself, my God. You know, and you know, I'm going on about the fact that I can't get out of my house and I can't go and see my friend or I can't do this. But yet these boys, every single day, were facing death. I mean, it was incredible. So what, what I find some... Uh, area to look at is, you know, what did, have they had to do? Surely I can deal with this. Surely I can do something with this. Um, you know, if they've all had to do that kind of thing. So it's about seeking out. There are people considerably worse off, which is not denying that we feel what we feel because it's real, because it is how we, we are, and it's the emotions we're experiencing. Um, but there are ways and there are opportunities that we can take. Uh, to actually do something about it. Um, you know, we've got a lot more available to us, mm -hmm. which sometimes can obviously be a bit too much uh, available to us. But, you know, in times like now, uh, you know, where there's finite things we can do because of the lockdown, it means, OK, what can we do? What do we want to do? And can we go and get it done? Can we go and do it? And that way, having that sort of purpose and putting our focus on that those areas uh, will give us the... Uh, refocus away from yeah. you know the things that are outside that we can't control. I think like what you mentioned there is really important about emotions. So like mm -hmm. about emotional health, like our emotions can change so quickly, mm -hmm. like so quickly. So you're speaking about like you get quite involved in those books and feel emotionally, and people just now can pick up on everybody else's emotions around them. But likewise, it can change so quickly. Like if you watch a funny video, for example, or like you're watching a funny movie or like, you know, it can change so, so quick. So yeah. like getting lost in a book or, you know, just connecting that morning, Laura, morning, Liana. Liana's feeling a bit flat. 
uh, Margaret, this is what I'm learning, just now keep in contact with people. Um, if you're alone, when with positive, like-minded people, I get so much support and love. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's it, isn't it? You know, like, use the tools that we've, that we've got and don't deny it. Um, moods are like the weather, they say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah. you know, there's a valuable... Um, meditation by John Cabot Zim, which is um the mountain meditation. You can maybe have a look up if that's something and it it's very much about that, about remaining grounded despite all the external forces of of the weather, the storms that go on around us, the wind, the rain. But if we can stay grounded within ourselves, all these things will pass, like night to day, day to night. Um Laura said she's on a mission to keep that energy up and share what she can to help others. And that's it. Exactly, Laura. Great so we're stuff. saying that at the start, you know, that in order for us to support others, we need to support ourselves, ourselves. and not get oh, sucked into um, the fear. And, you know, it's you mentioned the word acceptance when we mm -hmm. were chatting about stuff this morning. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there is that acceptance. Um that is necessary during times of uncertainty. Crisis, uncertainty. Yeah, crisis, <laughs> you know, you know, what does the future hold? You know, we thought it was going to be this, but it's not. Um, and it's just the ability to kind of uh, recognize, um, you know, what's going to going on around uh, about ourselves, and we can, you know, choose if you like. Um, I mean, we've been we've done Tony Robbins a few times in the last kind of eighteen months or two years, and. You know, we do believe that, you know, you can change things in a heartbeat. Um, but, it, it, you know, this doesn't happen. You know, you've got to make it happen. You've, you've got to make the change. You know, if we just sit and say, right, change got to happen in a heartbeat. Okay, right. <laughs> well, you, we've, we've got to do something about it. And that's the thing as we're saying. That's the thing that you can control. You can do something about that. Mm -hmm. um, and your posture, your focus. movement, your... Yes. Like yesterday I was at my desk and a couple of times I find myself kind of sitting like I'm just like, oh, and then I was like, what are you doing? Come on, like yeah. hold your own energy, hold your, you know, posture, raise yourself up. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, we've we've been here already. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Has anybody got any questions? How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Any ideas, like, as you're watching of support for other people? Um, I'm thankful my daughter likes spaghetti hoops on toast. Mm -hmm. Beans on toast. Tins of tomato soup. <laughs> Until, I'm looking forward to Saturday rustling night. up some store cupboard recipes. Yeah, until, until Saturday night, till Sainsbury's <laughs> delivers my shop. <laughs> yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, so morning, Pamela, morning, Liz, whoever's still there. Um, so, yeah, you know, go through your day, take from it what you will. If you want something fun to do the weekend, join me. I've got my vision board workshop on Friday night and there's another one on Saturday during the day. So if you're stuck at home and want to come have fun or join the membership. Mm hmm. We've got happiness masterclass tonight at 7 p.m. So, and I still haven't yeah. gone in and updated the prices yet. So you're on to a winner. <laughs> if you want to go sign up now, it's only 9.99 for the month and that will be your rate forever. Um, Margaret, I really low, oh, why does Facebook do this? You can't see the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, a couple of days ago, decided to watch nothing but comedy, only fools and horses, Vic and Dibley, program with Jimmy Tarbuck. I laughed so much. I mean, belly laughs. It does you so much good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. totally. Absolutely. So yeah, like watching funny videos and TV programs and because, you know, these things do affect us. Like Lily yesterday got so upset because she watched a video about a boy whose dog had died and she was like wailing, wailing beside herself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and this is just to give you an idea of like, we think like, oh, by watching the news and doing all those things, we're staying informed. But what you're actually doing is exposing yourself to that energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, showing you how much like somebody can laugh or when they watch something or somebody can cry, it does affect you emotionally on a subconscious level. So, you know, be aware 
of what you are watching, what you are consuming. You have the choice about what enters into, you know, your headspace to a certain, yeah. certain and there's point. One of the um, episodes that we discussed, I can't remember which one it was, but uh, it was one about, uh, you know, our inner voice, mm. you know, what are we saying, what are we saying when we talk to ourselves. And that voice can really be useful right now uh, in terms of what, you, what you're telling yourself, what you say to yourself. Yeah. Um, because that's the here and now, and that's the thing that will uh, kind of affect your disposition, the way you feel, the way you see things, the way you view events. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's very important. So that's a good idea for others, Margaret, to go mm-hmm. and go and watch some comedy Definitely. and, you know, have a good belly laugh and, you know, do what what you feel you need. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. What about this card that you... So I got this card yeah. from a client. I have spoken about it before and it's a poem that um, I heard through attending Al-Anon meetings and the poem is... God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, focusing on the things that we can change, having the courage to do that, like pushing through that fear, like there's such a um, desire just now to stay safe. Okay, so by staying safe, that can often translate as being stuck. Mm-hmm. you know so i mentioned this people are fearful people don't want to dream anymore yeah. people are like well i can't do that because this is happening or i can't think mm-hmm. about that or oh gosh i can't think about going on holiday ever mm-hmm. again or you know we still have this opportunity to dream mm-hmm. and to create and yep. to visualize and to create a space of hope and have faith mm-hmm. Um, because the visualization and the dreaming put yeah, your body yeah. into that state yeah, as well. We yeah. were visualizing we were in holiday in um, Mauritius <laughs> <laughs> last night, That's back right. where we yeah, had a yeah, yeah. lying on a little private beach. Yeah. It's all good. Because remember uh, when kids were younger and had difficulty sleeping, uh, you would do these visualizations with them about you know, you know, having their mm-hmm. feet in the sand and the water trink- going around about their mm-hmm. feet and their toes and moving their toes and all that kind of stuff and before they, they knew it they were off yeah. sleeping because um, they were focused away from what they were what was upsetting them or preventing them from getting mm-hmm. to sleep and stuff like that this is a refocus that, yeah, it was quite yeah. I think that's something actually that's coming through strong for me just mm-hmm. now is be mm-hmm. careful what you're focusing on yeah definitely I did meditation today on um, Lakshmi and um, I can't remember the name of the opposite who, but Lakshmi is all about attracting in good things. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it was about being careful about what you focus on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you remember, we joked about this, and it was a, I think it was actually a whiskey advert many, many years ago, uh, when we were saying that no man's an island, because mm-hmm. we really aren't, because we're interconnected. Um, but you, you could actually be an island if you allowed yourself Mm-hmm. to do and be that mm-hmm. uh, but you're you know man's no island unless you're Madagascar that was the advert <laughs> <laughs> but it's a choice uh, if you want to be an huge, island I quite like being an island it's a huge <laughs> island in India how, in the Indian Ocean however um, you know so that's an important thing to remember as well that mm-hmm. we just never know how others are feeling if others are not as comfortable or capable of opening up um, you know, we have facades and uh, we put up barriers and all that kind of stuff and shields. Um, but really, at the end of the day, we're all human beings and, uh, you know, human beings, it's, we're fortunate to be here. And, you know, it's a op- great, a phenomenal opportunity that we have that, you know, when we look back, we tend to kind of regret things or, you know, resent things or wish we'd done this or wish we'd done that. The thing with that is, is that you can't do that there in the back but you can do it there in the future mm-hmm. so you can go and do something that you want to do say something you want to say be with people you want to be with and open up to people you want to open up to you can do that so you don't do that mm-hmm. uh, you know margaret's putting away decorations back, you know? listening to good music having a wee dance well i hope that that when you're putting that away you're putting that away with joy that You've enjoyed the Christmas. The Christmas has passed, and now the New Year's coming ahead, and we're going to go somewhere with it, as opposed to putting it away in sadness that that's Christmas away. Mm-hmm. It was a period in time, 
It, it was something that happened. We're now doing something now, and then we've got something to mm-hmm. potentially do something moving forward in the future, and that's... Yeah, it's a good sense of purpose. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. wrote down one of my purposes today was just tidy beside my bed to give me that feel of spaciousness and joy. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> so, for you. For me. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, and I go, you know, do you whatever. <laughs> like, well, if yeah, you want to feel yeah, more spaciousness, do, do okay, we can't do our home extension right now. Yeah. But we, keep we can tidy on it. a little area we keep to make it feel it. more spacious. And, you know, you've created your little reading... Window seat. Sort of window seat. Um which doesn't, it, you know, this is the thing as well, is doing something new doesn't have to be permanent. It could be temporary, it could be for a minute, it could be for an hour, it could be for a day, a week or a month. It doesn't have to be forever. Mm-hmm. But if you can make you feel a little bit Just less there it, and more Like up that there, little bit higher. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah, it doesn't get have to be vibes, like huge. The vibration, you talk about vibrations and all that. You know, get your vibes going because what then happens is, as Susie's explained to me over loads of months and years is vibrations attract vibrations um so um so by tidying the side of my bed i am attracting my home extension closer to me by creating the spaciousness mm-hmm. and joy yes <laughs> this is the plan <laughs> and by removing my side cabinet and oh, oh removing yeah my yes you've created space for me as well well done great but um Oh, um, Leanna's saying she sometimes sets a timer and then it's not so overwhelming. So is that a timer to process the emotion or is that a primer timer for... What's the timer for, Leanna? So you can maybe share that. That might be a tip for other people. Um, so sometimes I'll do that timers for like actually getting work done so I don't get distracted. Um, uh, that could also be... Timer could also mean goal. Mm. You know, so you set the goal to take an hour to do that. So there's your timer. Yeah. That could mean that. It could mean, uh, you know, you're, you, you know... Timer on tidying. Just, yeah. You know, well, there you go. I mean, that's the thing is that... Um, it's like a little challenge, isn't it? Yeah, aye, challenges uh, and achievement sort of thing. So you're like, okay, what time is it now? It's uh, 10.04. 10.34, I'm going to do X, Y and Z. And, and go and time it and you know, what, what you'll probably generally tend to find as well is your breathing changes because yeah. it's like whoa right, I've got this I've got this I've got that your energy and goes. that's energy your vibes changing uh, and your focus is uh, uh, redirected to uh, kind of the task at hand so it's brilliant awesome cool and then timer on tidying certain time for each room love it love it love it love it so amazing so we are off ski into our days. Um, yes. Wishing you guys Lots a beautiful, love. beautiful day. Sending you so much love. You know where we are. Um, I will get my email sent out to my email list today. So you will have your free meditation and link up to the live class I did. And what else was I going to put in there? Oh, yeah. Anxiety busting hack as well. Yeah. So you can sign up to that on my website if you want to. If you're not already. Good stuff. Cool. Okay. And for those of you who are part of the membership, I will see you tonight. I cannot wait. I'm so looking forward to our masterclass with Kat Duval on happiness. It's going to be awesome. So I'll have my journal ready to make lots of notes on how to feel happier. Um, no problem, Liana. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be back next week. Feel free to email us, message yep. us, drop us a line. Let us know what you would like support with, help with. Anything you want us to chat about could be random, could be any old kind of couple banter. And anything that you can actually help with. Yeah, anything you can help with as well, yeah. That's a we great sense of accomplishment that you, when you help somebody, how you, you makes you feel, so. Ace. Be bright. Thanks yeah. for joining, Marjorie. Nice to see you, or not see you, but kind of see you. Um, and be kind to yourself. That's the main, most important thing. Yeah. Warm hugs. I love that, Liana. It just reminds me of Olaf. There you go. And if you can't hug another person, hug a dog. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. Just visualise it. Indeed. Hold it. Great. Well done. Okay. Okay. (laughs) All right. Love you you guys. Bye-bye. Bye.